Hello everybody, my name is Yahya Ifawi, I'm a consultant neonatologist and I will be doing a series of very short uh, uh, episodes about neonatal ventilation for very uh, beginners and novice people. Um, when we look at the ventilator and when you open it up, you will see a, a screen uh, look like this, maybe a little bit different with different ventilators, but usually it looks like this. Uh, well, which have a number of, of buttons and icons and the graphics. The uh, um, ventilator starts with uh, what we call the set parameters. It's a number of parameters that we give to the ventilator to uh, tell, uh, tell it that we want to give uh, these parameters to the patient. These parameters are composed of the respiratory rate, the inspiratory time, which is the time taking uh, 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 the um, in, in flow or inhalation part of the uh, respiratory cycle. We also tell the ventilator what is the PEEP, which is the pressure applied to the respiratory cycle during the whole respiratory cycle inhalation and exhalation and it's the pressure need to maintain the alveoli open during exhalation and it's measured by centimeter water. We also tell the ventilator what is, is the PIP which is the positive inspiratory pressure which is the pressure goes inside the lung during inspiration. We also can add to the ventilator what we call it volume targeted ventilation where we tell the ventilator how much tidal volume goes inside. We also set how much oxygen, here is in room air, but we can go up to 100%. We also see um, a number of uh, numbers in sidebars, and this is not what we set, but what is um, measured by the ventilator. So we set room 21% uh, of I2, but this tells us how much actually oxygen going to the baby. This is, we set 20, but this will tell us how much actually PIP going to the baby, also how much going uh, PEEP, and also the MAP, which is the main airway pressure, which is um, 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 what we call the pressure under the care, which is the pressure uh, reaching the baby under this curve, under this curve. So it's composed of the PEEP, the pressure, the PIP, the PEEP, and also the rate in addition to the inspiratory time. This is measure the tidal volume. We can set it from here, but sometimes we don't. It's measured here. Also, this is tell us how much leak. The leak is how much pressure are leaking around the tube, how the ventilator measure the leak. It measure how much the difference between the in and the out. In and the out is composed of the leak. It also measure uh, pulmonary mechanics and tell us the uh, compliance and resistance. Uh, we'll leave that later on. The ventilator also shows the graphics, which is the change of different parameters with time. So we can see the volume graph, we can see the flow graph and the pressure graph. And you can see the volume is always positive during each inspiratory cycle, while the flow has positive inflow and negative outflow inside the lung, going inside the lung, going outside the lung. And then you can see the pressure. There is always lines in here, if you see, which is the trigger line. It is the pressure or the flow going that can be made by the baby before the ventilator can help. And also you can see some um, alarm lines for the pressure and also it can be for the volume. We have also the menu, which is um, tell us the uh, other features like the mode, the alarm, other utility and uh, uh, layout and also if can we give additional parameters or manual breath it's actually different in different ventilators 
Uh, part of the uh, menu is the mode. So if you press here, you'll get another screen and tells you what is the mode or the way we ventilate the babies. The characteristics of the set parameters and how the ventilator will behave. So you can have a CPAP where you just give PEEP without any pressure, and without any uh, um, cycle. You can give conventional mechanical ventilation. You can give PTV, you can give SIMV, or you can give PC, PSV. We'll talk about each with, with time. And that's the end of the first session of the ventilation. Please join me for the next session. Thank you very much.